Hey everybody, thank you for watching day two of my one year journal of being self-employed. Today is May 18th, 2018. Um, I had a pretty good day today. And when I say pretty good, I don't want to hide it. I had a very good day today. Um, two things I want to talk about in this video is take risk and be prepared. So today I was at my regular job and um, we actually had a um, candidate that is running um, for the governor position um, here. So they actually came out to volunteer at my job. And the reason why I say take risk is because I asked um, her PR person if she would be interested in um, possibly being on my show called The Martinique Show. For you guys that don't know, um, I do have a show on my YouTube channel, Martinique the Storyteller. Um, so on um, that channel, I have a show called The Martinique Show. And on that show, I actually interview individuals uh, with different careers, um, really just to introduce these possible careers to middle school and high school students. Um, so my target um, audience is really mentors, guidance counselors, um, teachers, professors, as well as um, career specialists so they can pass these videos along to middle school and high school students. So um, I asked the PR person if she would possibly be interested in having um, this candidate, candidate um, interview and be on the show. And to my surprise, he said, oh, I think that's a great idea. So he gave me her email. Well, he actually gave me his email because he will be the one that's scheduling um, her appointments. So he gave me his email address. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to follow up. And I'm not going to follow up a week from today. That's not what you want to do. When people have given you their contact information, you want to follow up that same day. So um, you can still be uh, in their memory and they can still remember you as well. So remember, always follow up when you are um, just as a business person um, of those individuals that you met so they don't forget you. So I'm going to send that email um, to him. But I think that would be so cool to have um, just such an influential individual on the show. Um, because one that means more views possibly and then that's also bringing more recognition um, to my channel um, Martinique the storyteller as well as the different shows um, that I have as well and possibly even bring in um, more donations because I'm trying to become like a PBS you know um, so the second thing um, that I did today um, in regards to taking risk so when i was leaving um where i was working i was going to the office and we actually had media um a news station there so we had um a media team there and everything um because this candidate was um volunteering um with us and so we had an anchor woman there um and she was doing the story of um the potential governor and so I drove away and I was just thinking to myself, you know, Martinique, you should go ask them if they would like to be on the show and be interviewed. So then I said, no, nah, I'm not going to ask them. I got in my car, drove, drove away. And then I turned around. I said, you know what? What's the worst that they can say? All they can say is no. So I turned around and I went and asked them. I asked them. I said, um, I let them know. Um, what my show was about and I asked them if they would um, be interested in being on the show unfortunately they did say no but you know the thing is you have to be willing to take risk you have to be okay with people saying no and the other thing about it is okay that's one door closed that closed but 
when a door closed, you can always still go through the window. So the reason why she specifically said no was because um, with her new station, PR is the one that likes to be able um, to, I guess, um, really dictate how these interviews go. And so I'm going to email the PR department, you know, and see what they say, because maybe they have somebody um, that I'll be able to interview because my show is all about bringing different um, professionals on this show, you know, different careers. So they may have somebody that work in a maybe a totally different field, um, but still in that um, news station um, area that I can still interview. So I'm going to contact the PR department. Another great thing um, that happened um, in regards to being prepared as um, an entrepreneur and one that wants to become self-employed. So uh, remember how I told you guys that I've been sending 15 messages per day to small business owners on Facebook um, just sending them the, a message of introducing myself and also asking them if they would like a promotional video. Along with that message that I send them, I send them um, one of the promotional videos that I've made. And so I said that I send that, I send 15 of those each day. And um, because I got a response from somebody from the 15, uh, we actually had an appointment today and she is interested in having a promotional video done and that is so great this will be my first paid promotional video uh, that I'll be doing for someone so that's really excellent um, and but the thing is it's kind of like well Marcini they haven't paid you yet and you kind of don't want to get overly excited for it <laughs> because I, I do want to tell you, people will disappoint you. Um, people will seem excited about your idea and what you're doing. But until the, um, the rubber meets the road, meaning until they actually pay for that service, then all it is is them being excited um, for what your product or service is. So it's kind of like, you don't want to get too excited because then you'll just get, you know, disappointed if they don't come through. Um, but I do, I do still um, celebrate my, my small wins, you know. But as an individual that is trying to become an entrepreneur and self-employed, I had to be prepared um, for this phone call with this young lady today. So I actually had to be at work at 7.30 this morning. I got off of work at 5 p.m. And my phone call with this um, business owner was at 6 p.m. Um, so I had to make sure that my PayPal account is up to date. Make sure I have a better understanding of how PayPal works and be able to articulate um, that to her. I had to... Um, in advance, look at her website and have some form of idea of how I would like her promotional video to be. So that's why I'm saying you have to be prepared because this individual, whatever um, business you're going into, whatever product or service um, that you have, you have to know what you have to offer. You have to have a an idea of what you would like to give to that customer. So because I would like to create a promotional video for this young lady, I looked at her website, looked at her products, and just um, created an idea of how I would like to create her promotional video. And I, I articulated that to her, and she loved the idea. You know, so the, the major thing is just be prepared um, and also have any questions that you have for that customer um, or that potential customer have those questions written out you know have the questions that you're going to be asking them um, because they have to have confidence in you before they give you any type of money as well and then too um, many people 
that's another way that people's um, business becomes successful by word of mouth. So I want her to be able to tell others, oh, she, Martinique was very professional. You know, she knew exactly um, what I wanted. She knew exactly how to um, articulate, you know, what type of promotional video that I wanted. I'm just saying, you know, just be prepared in, in what you're trying to um, persuade that customer to buy from you. Um, that's the, pretty much the end of how today went for me. I did send, send out my um, 15 uh, Facebook messages again today. Um, as always, I would love for you to subscribe and share this video with anyone so you, they too can also follow my journey of my one year journal of becoming self-employed hope you have a great day today well a great night rather and i will talk to you tomorrow